Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Railroads Online. I am joined here by Ove on the Wise. Hello. And today Evil One has sent us to build a engine workshop for the Alaskan Supply Service Railroad that we purchased a couple episodes ago here in Aurora Falls. Um, make what would you will with the, uh, the letters of that name, but here we are trying to make the place better in whatever way we can. Yeah. So, uh, today what we're doing is I'm building a small workshop with a little inspection pit. Just something to, so you can get under this, the engines and do maintenance on them. And then Ovon here is going to be doing some cosmetic work around just to make things look a little n uh, nicer and neater. So... Yeah. Try to make your plan of on. My plan is just kind of uh, add a few of the props and things around the yard to try and make things look a little bit more lived in, a little less barren. That's my plan. All right. Um, I think the first thing we would need to do is just go ahead and start getting to work. Yeah, sure. All right.
There we go, I fixed it, just slightly. Yeah. See, it's a lot easier to do it down on this end because you've got more room. Yeah. Come on. I'll test Smokey just to make sure this works. Gotta be careful when doing so. Run Smokey over at full speed. Oh, that is... Oh. Int that is interesting to be under it. That one, the, uh, the two right in front of me, I just hit them, they will stop the locomotive. So they will need to be lower down. No, I don't want to send you off the, <laughs> the groundwork. <laughs> I, I might as well go ahead and add that buffer stop in now. Yeah. But actually, this one's not wobbly. That's interesting. I mean, it didn't look that bad either when when I was looking. At it. Maybe your double wide is what makes it wobbly. Well, I never did the double wide on the other one. Oh, I thought you did. No, I actually did the same technique I did here. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe because I just had it was easy. It was easier to line it up this time than other times before it. Maybe I don't. You know what? I've got the buffer the the buffer stop facing the wrong way. Got three of them too. And I just got rid of the goddamn rail that was under it. Not what I wanted to do. Alright, I'm gonna bring it back in. Alright guys, so we've done we've done gone and placed the rail over the inspection pit and placed these supports. They look pretty nice in my opinion. Uh Ovon here is actually taking the number 14 of the ASS, Smokey, and is running it over our new inspection pit just to make sure it looks looks right. 
and there's none of these supports that are sticking up that cause it to stop. In my opinion, there seems to be no wobbliness, and this looks better than the one I built back in <laughs> Lake Valley. <laughs> well, we definitely learned something the first time, now we've learned something the second time, so... And it was built in less than 14 hours. <laughs> Alright, our next order of business is to get some sheds placed down. Facilities, engine sheds, we're going to go with beige. Oh well, it actually... Oh well, we should be fine. Okay. So I went ahead and went and changed the coupling, uh, the back coupling on Smokey with one of our knuckles. So I'm going to take Smokey to the end of the yard real quick and go grab that box car. If you want to go ahead and set the turntable for me, if you can. Sure. Love that whistle. Yeah, it's so good. Now all I gotta do is head straight. And steam engines in the yard are... And diesel engines, of course. Are both supposed to... Well, more or less, use their bell in the yards. Why we don't when we enter the yards, I have no clue. I use mine when I back up. <laughs> That's left over from being a truck driver. We always use the, uh, well, like you're supposed to, use the bell in the in the rail yard itself, uh, especially during training. Yeah, those clackers. I hope they fix the brake bug. I know it's technically quote unquote a feature, but. you in the other engine? Yep. Alright. Where would you like to... Do you really want to put the boxcar at the end, or, or do you want to put it in between the coaches? In between the coaches. I'm gonna go ahead and take this to the workshop and unload those knuckles. Okay. Alright, Railroad's Online, you've got to have a better puffing sound for this locomotive right here. <laughs> no offense, I love the little uh, 242, but it's... Uh, um, uh, that, you derail it. You yeah. derailed on something. That boxcar is... Going to the inspection shed. Like it needed to. 
<laughs> and it, it 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 rolled it rolled across the uh the thing just fine. I was like, That's what great. the heck? Okay, I'm currently standing on it now. Fellow workers here on the Alaska Supply Service Railroad. They bound to have gotten those first couple crates of knuckles. So we're just gonna go ahead and pick this up a little bit. See all empty. Switch bringing them back. If, if you want to kick the car, you can open the knuckle and then push. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Oh, and it just reconnected for some reason. Yeah. Oh, I'm also out of toilet pressure. <laughs> totally didn't see that coming. I said one. Take the scoop of coal. <laughs> That's the only bad thing about those small engines. Is sometimes, like, the controls just don't know what you're trying to get them to do. Just slowly roll out of the way. <laughs> I'd whistle it. <laughs> so you'd be wasting valuable steam. Bell it is. <laughs> My pressure is building back up. I just really hope I can play this switch. You can give her the beans while she's building pressure. Railroads doesn't simulate like you think it would. Oh, apparently okay. she's not building any pressure at all. What's your water pressure? Or what's your water temperature at? 93 degrees. 94. Oh, that's 95. why. It's gotta be a lot higher than that. I'm, like, moving at a snail's pace. I know, I can see that.
my intrusive thoughts won. Flipping the switch while the engine was on it. It gave it a little bit of momentum. Even though you need it the other direction now. Yeah. Come on, game. Come on. Come on, Smokey. You can do it. I believe in you. Build that pressure. Yeah, you start to roll. Go, yeah, in the other direction like I'm supposed to. I hear the puff. I hear the puff. That was my... Those are my puffs. Got a little bit of a whistle. Yeah, now I hear my phones. Come on. So, are we just gonna leave the the caboose here, or are we gonna bring it back? Uh, we could run a double caboose and bring it back. Yeah, sure. I don't see any reason why we can't. You just ever set your switch for your track and roads online, and then immediately you start going the direction that you didn't set it for? <laughs> I had that happen in a previous episode when uh, I was going to the meat packing plant to go pick up some uh, corned beef, and it just kind of, I don't know, the train didn't go the right way. It just, when I was backing up, I was supposed to go to the corned beef platform, but instead, I had, uh, or not the corned beef platform, I was trying to unload the livestock. Yeah. And the livestock went to, with the wrong, uh, my train went the wrong way, went past the corned beef pickup slot. I, I, I had an incident when I was playing with somebody the other day, where I guess that the tail end of their train was just ever so slightly on the switch I just set. And so as I was pulling forward through the switch, they pulled away and it flipped the switch while my engine was on top of it. Because of the auto flipper. Totally just didn't launch that caboose. Yeah, 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 yeah. My intrusive thoughts I'm, one minute. I'm not gonna make it back into the engine. Oh, like a club. So we have replaced all... All of the couplings on all the rolling stock here at Aurora Falls. Alaska Supply Service Railroad, and now it's time to head home. I doubt doubt we'll make it back the same time they do, but I know they're on their way and they should be back by now. Yep. They're as far ahead of us as they were. I, I wouldn't surprise me if they don't beat us home by a decent amount. That boxcar door. Make sure we have coal in the firebox. All right, sir, take us home. The roar falls. It's been fun, but I think it's time for us to.
Sincerely, once again, I want to thank you all for watching. We had loads of fun today, and can't wait to make it back to Lake Valley and join up with the rest of our friends. So as we, as we head out, Ovon, do you have anything special to say? Uh, no, just other than thank you guys so much for supporting not just us, but everybody else at the AD&D. The support has been phenomenal, and we really appreciate it. Nicely said. So as once again, thank you all for watching, and we will see you all next time. Bye! Bye!